Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have some absolutely dreadful and awful information to go and share with you guys, because what else is new in this day and age, where we actually have now, as I'm sure you guys know my channel, we do a lot of PlayStation, Xbox, and all that type of stuff, and restocks, and one of the biggest, big issues we've had is scalpers and botters. So if you guys don't know, scalpers are essentially just people, you know, trying to go and sell stuff and make some money, make some profits, buy things for cheap and resell it, or in-demand objects. And botters, as I'm sure you guys know, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, or if you guys are new, hello. Basically, it's just someone like running a program, running basically 24-7, and whenever something is instantly goes into stock, they try their best to go buy it, get it, pick it on up, and well, it's kind of the same thing for a lot of in-demand objects. Now, this has kind of been plaguing a lot of the gaming systems, I'm sure you guys have heard immensely, when it comes to consoles, PS5s, Xboxes, GPUs, like, you know, even cars, I think, at this point have been being bought in. But now, we have probably one of the probably worst news I could report on, and when it comes to all this scalping and botting side. Now, this is not, definitely nothing to do with the consoles, but this is something more involving literally babies, and families, and mothers, and uh, I think you guys will hopefully agree with me on this one. This is something that should not be happening. This is something that absolutely upsets me, and as well, someone with like little baby nieces in my own family, this is inhumane. So this is gonna be a definitely, I'm definitely gonna get a little heat in this video as well, and if you guys want to in the comment section down below, please feel free to, or leave a like if you guys would kind of agree with this, because this is disgusting. And my usual quick sell out, I mean, for her, if you like this, is kind of weird, but if you guys want to subscribe, feel free to, or as well for the PS5 giveaway, feel free to. Yeah, the Amazon links down below, the Twitter and Twitch room down below, the Weeble and Coinmates down below, and all that stuff you guys want to follow. And, well, I don't even want to make this video, but I think I have to. So, with this, we now have a brand new situation going on where basically baby formula is now having a massive nationwide shortage, which is now, once again, even more worst off because shopping bots are now buying up the inventory over here for literally baby food. Now, I'm sure I, I have a lot of words that I probably should not be saying on YouTube because my whole channel will get demonetized for this, but me even seeing these headlines and seeing people talking about this is one of the most disgusting and vile things I've ever seen. And I mean, I'm someone who've been on big rants when it comes to scalpers, when it comes to botters, especially throughout this restocking grind, because it's just bad. Like, I'm not a big fan of this. But this is just a brand new next level of just disgust. So let's talk about this. And I really wish I didn't have to talk about this. So... With this, basically, we just have the very, very quick summary. We're going to talk about the article and give some thoughts on this. Basically, as of now, parents, mothers, you know, for babies themselves, they need baby formula, you know, whether it's like for just, just, just in general, they just need it. And with this point, they are flying off the shelves. People are basically doing the same thing they do with consoles and playing cards and Pokemon cards or whatever, where they're essentially just trying their best to wipe off the shelves and buy out as much stock as they possibly can, like at a Target or Walmart or as well online. So this will be a little bit of an anecdote over here from Forbes itself, but there's I've been seeing this news floating around all over the place when it comes to trackers and comes to everything. You know, we're all, we're all kind of watching this stuff all together. So basically when Kevin Hara uh, started hearing about the baby formula shortage, he realized he had an advantage over most parents. At his disposal was a computer bot which scours the internet to find the rarest of gems. In this case, a retailer who just put baby formula up for sale, it gave him the ability to buy before anybody else no matter how desperately they were hitting the refresh button. Does it sound a little bit familiar with all the PlayStation 5s and everything else? I'm sure it does, and I'm sure a lot of the same folks out there are probably trying to go and get on top of this. So Kara, 25, who doesn't actually have any kids, decided to use his powers for good. He says he's helped three fathers buy formula for their infants. I'm doing my best to help who I can, he said. The downside is a lot of people are buying it with bots to resell on eBay and on marked up prices, which is insane. So you guys heard me correctly here. We are literally now seeing botters trying to go make profit on anything they possibly can, you know, let alone shoes and consoles and GPUs. Now they're literally doing food for babies. You know, like I, I always kind of, I feel like there's always that level where I feel like I kind of hit that, and I'm like, I just, it can't get worse. It possibly can't get worse. This is literally that next step right now for me, where it got worse. This is just so disheartening. So basically, he has seen others now bragging about their exploits, reselling baby formula in several cook groups. You know, space was groups, you know, trying to get all the stuff. 
and basically on Discord, a messaging platform where people who use bots to buy things on the internet swap tips and success stories. The bots have become a common tool for those looking to get their hands on, say, a PS5, as you guys know if you guys are subscribers to my channel, or a limited edition pair of, say, Nikes. Kara began using bots during the early days of the pandemic to nab football cards after realizing his chances of success were slim if he didn't use one. He has since used bots to buy video game consoles, computer parts, and other items that are difficult to find. Now, this article is kind of going, like, kind of paint them as a good person but if they're already running bots and they have the botting technology and they're doing it for consoles this is i mean like that's a little bit skeptical as is you know but you know benefit the doubt i guess right now the most difficult item to find in america is baby formula which had out of stock levels of 43 percent in the first week of may according to data assembly the shortage has been fueled by a voluntary recall from one of the nation's top manufacturers abbott after four infants who had consumed its formula became sick the company closed its main factory in the United States for inspection and said after a thorough overview of all the available data, there is no evidence to link its formulas to the illness. The factory remains closed, but can reopen within two weeks, subject to Food and Drug Administration approval. Other manufacturers have scrambled to ramp up production too as well, but unfortunately, they're able to, unable to meet demand. So it's kind of the same factor too we've seen a lot with consoles, where just sometimes, like let's say a factory has to shut down for two months, and then everything else basically gets slogged down, down, and you just can't really go. It's like, once you're kind of down, you're just perpetually almost always down, if that makes sense. It's kind of like the downward slope, and you're trying so hard to keep on making production, but it just keeps on going lower and lower and lower, because then people get worried people get stressed out or now we have people botting it now we have scalpers doing this and at the end of the day like babies need to eat there's always new babies being born and you know it just happened like this is just like an essential thing when it comes to being a parent like i mean i'm not a parent myself although in the future i'd like to but man this just stinks i have, I have my sister my lovely sister actually does have a baby as two as well and this kind of stuff always makes me worry because it affects like people even close to me and i'm sure a lot of my own subscribers i know a lot of you people are parents it's just sad to see so basically we also had Bobby, a startup, saw its uh, customer count double the week after the Abbott recall and has to turn away new customers since the beginning of the month. Its manufacturing partner, Perego, is operating at full capacity. We can't produce any more than we're currently making, said the CEO, Laura Modi. And it makes for a desperate situation right for all bad actors looking to make a buck. People are definitely using bots to snap up baby formula, said Serial Noel Taigo principal security researcher at Netacree, a cybersecurity firm that specializes in bot detection. While some scalpers are doing it to profit off the unfortunate situations, some scalpers are offering their services for free to combat the others. Now, I do want to go and say, first and foremost, that people are using lies like this. It's kind of weird because it is kind of like... What if you overbuy? What if you, like, think you need to get the extra stock, etc.? I mean, I appreciate the honesty, and I appreciate people, like, you know, at least they are trying. I do respect that. I saw a lot of people, even in the PlayStation 5 and Xbox saga, that are like, I'm just trying to help out my brother, my sister, my neighbors, my friends, whatever. And I do appreciate that. But it stinks because people that are doing this to profit, man, like, I, like, I can understand consoles. Like, that's, like, you know, it's not a necessity. Like, it's just a luxury good. I don't want to give it a pass, but, like, I understand it. Baby food, though? <sighs> Man, that's just rough. While scalpers are likely exaggerating the situation, it's unclear on how many of them are uh, snatching supply up from the grass of parents and reselling at a higher price. Most retailers have limited strict limits on the number of cans a person can buy. The Biden administration urged retailers on Thursday to devote more resources to monitoring predatory behavior when it comes to the sale of infant formula, where even though the government's getting involved. The Federal Trade Commission and state attorneys general have been called on to crack down on price gouging and unfair market practices like third-party reselling infant formula at steep markups. Even the botters are debating the ethics too as well, and that's when you know it's bad. Ask if it's susceptible to use bots to buy baby formula, if it's for personal use, for instance. It sounds so bad to say out loud, said one member of a cook group called Acquired Wealth, which typically uses bots to buy sneakers, game consoles, and trading cards. And he was surveying the group on whether it was acceptable for his niece to use a bot to buy formula for her baby. By doing so, she could save time driving around checking stores for inventory too as well. And you guys can even see, like, they're like, okay, ethical question here. It's kind of a shortage on baby formula due to recent recalls. My niece is having a hard time getting a specific kind for a baby. She had to do all the extra, a lot of driving to stores too as well. It's going to have a lot of anxiety. Is it wrong to bot? And then people are like, wait, why would you even be botting for baby formula? I don't know if someone does. I'm just wondering if it's ethical or not to use it too as well. Her brother was thinking about doing it for her. I told him I didn't know if it was a good idea. I don't see the issue if it's for personal use. Reselling is a whole other dilemma. Agreed to as well. And, like, a lot of that also happened, too, with the COVID kids, too, on top of that. So, like, there's a lot of words I could probably say and talk about this or dive into this. 
But, like, people that are reselling baby formula, please, please just do anything else, man. Like, I understand consoles. I understand shoes. I understand GPUs. I totally get it. Like, I mean, I'm not a fan of scalpers or botters, obviously. But, like, I understand. They're luxury goods. You know, if someone has the extra money, they want to splurge and save some time. I get it. But for baby formula, like, a lot of scalpers and botters, in my mind, are pretty low. But do better, man. I'm disappointed in this one. This is a sad video to go make. It's a sad and even news even though it exists. If you guys want to subscribe, you guys totally can. Give me your thoughts and comments down below. I don't even want... I don't, like, I'm just disgusted. I don't even want to end the video on a sell-up. I'll see you guys later on for a different video. And hopefully it's not something like this. This is just gross.